Okay, you're probably thinking this is a weird way to start a Webflow video, but the reason why I'm here in front of a coffee machine and also looks a little crazy in here is because we are now starting a series building a web app for the coffee shop that my wife and I are working on. Remember, we're doing this using Webflow, Wiz, and Xano. So we're gonna take you through that process. So as you can tell, it's pretty crazy in here. Um, we don't have shots of everything, but it's because we're just you know, getting near the end of construction, things are still messy, still finding legs and some things. But that's besides the point. Even though this is still a really brick and mortar business, obviously people are coming in getting specialty coffee, there's still gonna be a really large digital aspect to this whole thing when it comes to online orders, being people being able to pick up stuff, um, order stuff ahead of time, especially with subscriptions and some other things that we have planned for the future to really um, create something that is also meant for other creators as well, not just about serving coffee all the time. So if I'm about this, we're actually gonna head to the computer to start talking about Webflow with Xano, some of the tools that we're using and why, and then talk about planning and prepping your web app as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and start going over the tools that we're gonna use for this. So if you've been watching this channel at all, then you're familiar with me using Webflow for pretty much everything that we're doing here. And even though this is gonna be a coffee shop which has a really big brick and mortar experience, a lot of in-person stuff, there's still a large uh, low code and no code backend that's gonna drive this business as well and what we wanna to do to separate ourselves from other local coffee shops. So Webflow is how we're going to design and build all of our front end. Well, design happening in Figma and then the development happening here in the front end. So of course, with Webflow, we're gonna be able to do all of our front end code and build the initial visual experience that we want someone to have. So this is gonna be um, sort of the base for everything else that we need to build uh, later on. Um, so Webflow is gonna be this part of the process. Of course, we need someone to access the website, log in, so on. So this is how we're gonna to start to create that. Now, the next thing that's gonna be sort of the backbone of everything is gonna be Xano. Now, a lot of other people build web apps using Airtable and so on. There's other um, indie hacker ones like Superbase, and those are all great. I have just tend to lean towards Xano in this case. Um, I think it works really, really, really well. But this is going to be a true no-code backend um, and be able to give us the scale and power that we need for the users that are going to be accessing this, especially frequently in high traffic times. So this is how we can create automations, where it's going to hold all of our information, be our source of truth, um, be able to handle checkouts um, and all the sessions that we need to do, have our authentication built in as well. Um, this is going to be the source of truth for everything that we're going to do. Now, Xano can be a little bit intimidating at, at first, but they have a lot of great tutorials and there's a lot of stuff you can do. And of course, I'm going to walk you through what we're going to be developing here as well uh, in this. Now, lastly, what we're going to do is also connect this with Wiz. Now, Wiz is, is a, a web application tool built by FinSuite. Now, FinSuite, they are um, really great at working in Webflow. They do a lot for the community. And I've been using this tool for a couple of years already, all the way back before FinSuite um, bought it and, and rebuilt this from the ground up. But this is essentially how we're going to create all of our communication between the Webflow site to our backend and other applications that we're going to need uh, for this platform to work. So essentially what this does is this gives us a canvas to um, essentially create all of our logic, attach all of our APIs and everything that we're gonna need to make this work the way that we expect it to work. We have a lot of examples and demos here. So if you're interested um, you know, throughout this process, you can definitely go look for your on your own, um, but we can connect this to any API essentially that we're gonna need to have for this project. So this is how we're gonna be able to create our user accounts, be able to create checkout sessions, um, be able to load in all the products that we're gonna use for choosing a coffee to order, create dynamic time. Um, this is gonna handle all of that. So this is gonna be our low code option here. So this, wouldn't be, this isn't gonna be a true like no code build, this is gonna be more the low code side because we still gotta understand some web application concepts, know a little JavaScript and um, get everything connected. But this does definitely make this a lot easier. And then again, Wiz has a ton of uh, documentation, videos, and how to get a lot of this started as well. Uh, but we're going to be going through that here. So that's sort of the base tool set that we're going to use. Of course, we need to use Stripe and maybe some other marketing stuff as well to handle communication and checkouts. But for the most part, this is what most web applications that you'll be building 
we'll use. So now we're going to go to the planning side of our web app. Now I've already kind of done the boring part and planned it out. And so I'm going to walk you through what we're going to be doing here. So we need to have three different phases. So we have a customer ordering system. Now this is where customers are going to be logging in and viewing and placing their order to pick up online. Um, so they can, oh. so this is where customers are going to be getting in and choosing their coffee, placing their order, checking out all that fun stuff. We need to have an employee back in. So this is someone working at the shop, whether it be me and my wife or an employee to get in there, know that someone ordered something and then uh, view their order, mark it as done, notify the customer. Uh, and there's also gonna be a customer dashboard, right? Where they can edit their profile as things we start to do later on, um, see their order is pending or not, um, and a bunch of other things that we can start to kind of build into this view. But the two main ones right now are gonna be the backend, employee backend and the customer ordering system, okay? So let's kind of get into this. Now looking at the customer ordering system. So we kind of created a flow here. We're gonna need them to visit the website and search coffees. So this is where we start to plan what needs to happen and where. So right now, when we're searching the coffees, this page is gonna to need to load in the products from Xano. Okay, so um, instead of using Webflow CMS like you would normally, uh, we're gonna use Xano for this um, to just load them in and that's what Wiz is gonna allow us to do. Now, we want them to go to choosing their coffee, customizing it, whatever you wanna do, adding it to a cart. Uh, so now we need to have Xano have a checkout instance and then um, going to check out and setting up a pickup time. Okay, so here we can um, do this dynamically as well, load in times available during the day for pickup. So that way they can't like set a time within five minutes. It's just like, okay, we can set this to pick up at 7 a.m. at 6 a.m., right? Um, give us a little bit of rules there that we can kind of play with. Now the checkout is where we're gonna load the Stripe instance. And at least I'm anticipating using Stripe elements for now. If not, do a, a Stripe checkout link for an MVP and then um, complete that checkout. And then we'll, we wanna use a phone number um, so we can contact them either via email or phone number that their order is ready. Now this is where they can fall into a marketing thing, which I don't have in here, but um, we can definitely do that as well. There's a little bit of email stuff in here. So once the checkout happens, it's gonna send the order to Xano to confirm the order. Um, now we have another order. Now staying on the customer side, um, they're going to be able to have an option to create their account if they just checked out via guest, um, go to like a thank you page, I can create an account. Then they can authenticate with, um, with Xano and create their login and now they can always log in, right? And also show their most recent order. Now here are some other options that will send a text for order completion and email the customer for order completion. Now, these two are important, one for uh, retaining that customer for marketing purposes later on, and just notifying them that their order is ready as well, in case they are um, they forgot or they're running late, or whatever it is. Now we need to have the employee backend. So here we need to have authentication set up. An employee needs to be able to log in, view all the orders, which again are gonna be loaded in from Xano, and then they click on an order to load the order, which is gonna be from an ID, from Xano, you can load that on page, with a template page sort of like you would in the Webflow CMS. And then we're gonna be able to mark that for completion after we um, have made the coffee. Now it's gonna show done. And there's an option to archive that, it's a little bit later, but whenever it's done, we can now send a text to customer for completion and an email and or an email. Okay. Now we also have a customer dashboard. Now that uh, the goal here is to be able to build this as we start to expand what we want to do digitally with the company. Um, but we can log into a dashboard, see orders. Um, they can see all their orders, load those in. Um, they can manage their subscription. Um, the reason why this is also important too is because we do have a coffee subscription where we deliver um, coffee that we've worked on with our partner uh, Roaster with a blend that's just for us. And they can manage their subscription here. You know, how often do they want it? How many bags do they want? Ground, whole, so on. Uh, and then, of course, edit their account as well, which that information will be sent to Xano. So you can notice that Xano is a really, really large part of this web application. So having this planned out is now going to allow us to start designing what we want in Figma based off this customer flow. Um, so without this plan, I'd be kind of going in the dark. Uh, wouldn't really have the complete thing thought out. Now we're kind of be going a little bit more blind, um, which you can definitely do as well if you're really um, proficient with everything here. But I would still recommend going through all this, looking if you're missing anything, what other tools you're gonna to need to have, things you didn't think about, come back, uh, look at it again, 
and be able to um, just confirm your idea. You can even talk this over with someone else as well. Um, but that's going to be a quick little intro into what we're going to be building and kind of what you want to plan. So to kind of recap, we're going to be using Webflow for our front end. Wiz is going to be our middle end and how we're going to talk and create all the logic and complexities with our back end and our front end. Xano is going to be our back end. It's going to be the source of truth. It's going to handle the complex automations, connect with other tools as well, um, handle checkouts, authentication. Um, that's going to be uh, the foundation for everything that we're going to be building. And then lastly here, we've planned this. And so we've kind of put together a quick little view of what we're, what, what we're expecting from each part of the process from the customer end, from the employee end, and even um, building out an example of like a user flow for the dashboard and what we uh, want to happen in there as well for this early version. Um, so in the next video, what we're going to do is start to go through the Figma process, um, designing that out and planning it and prep our Webflow project and how we're going to implement this.